So this is the time turner that I got from Freeman Jewelry. And I'm gonna do close-ups so you can see. That's what it looks like. That is the mirror stone. And you can see there's some scratches on the mirror stone already. Okay, um, this is the 14 karat gold version. And I'm going to show you the writing on the sides of it. So it says, I mark the hours every one, nor have I um, outrun the sun. I hope that shows up clearly. And then, so you have to turn it to see what's inside. And that's it. You can turn the knobs to be able to see it. And let's see here. My use and value unto you. are gauged by what you have to do. That's it. And yeah, that is the time turner. And then this one flips. So the center is not the usual um, hourglass, but it's two moonstones that are carved by hand according to them. Um, then there are antique diamonds on the holes where they're supposed to be like holes only with stars. Um, they are diamonds on those heart star shaped um, things. So you can see that's what it looks like. Some of the diamonds are facing this side, some of the diamonds are facing the other side, as you can see here, and I can twist it like that, and it'll turn, but it's a bit hard to twist, that's what the twister <laughs> looks like, the knob, I guess you'd call it, what I noticed is um, the knob on one side is sharper than the other, I don't know if um, that's just mine, but that's it, and Mine originally came with a um, silver lace, that's what I chose, but I, um, I bought a, a different chain because um, I was supposed to use a chain that's, um, I guess, what I already had, but it turned out that uh, it wouldn't fit through this hole here. The um, I don't I don't know I don't know what you call this um, part right here. This one. It my existing chain didn't fit that part through the hole here, so I had to purchase a new um, necklace, and this is from Catbird. This is their 14 karat sweet nothing, I think is what it's called. It's a really nice uh, chain. It's quite different. Um, you can see it's like, I don't know how best to describe it. It's like a DNA. You know how the DNA is like a double helix kind of? <laughs> well, anyway. That's what it looks like and it's very very shiny so I really like it and I really like that the thing that goes through the clasp is really thin so it's able to go through that area that I was talking about right here because that is pretty small so yeah that is what it looks like
Um, in terms of how big this is, I'm probably gonna get like a nickel or something to compare it to, but um, that's what it looks like. Um, this is 40 carat. The lace that I bought for it is also 14 carat. That's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about the necklace and I'll be happy to answer it. Uh, that's it for now for this uh, video. Uh, this is like this big. <laughs> like, like that. <laughs> um, let me get a tape measure one second and I'll show you. So this is, let's see, tape measure. <laughs> so it's obviously like, let's see, do it like that. So it's about, like the circle itself is about half an inch, maybe more, and that's how um, big it is compared to an inch, right? So it ends up here, almost one inch, but not quite. So that is what the time turner looks like when worn around the neck. I'm not sure if it focuses, but yeah, um, I really like it because it's very wearable, unlike the uh, time turner from the Noble Collection. This one is actually really wearable um, and it looks nice and it's uh, 14 karat gold so you know it's not gonna tarnish um, you can wear it every single day and it's not gonna break or anything like that so I really like it because of that I'm just sad about the moonstone because there are some scratches like I showed in the beginning which um, you know, that's what you can expect because Moonstone, it's not as durable as other jewelry, but it's really pretty when it reflects the light and it turns blue. And I really, really like this chain because uh, whenever you move, it just it sparkles <laughs> because of the way it is. So yeah, overall, I really, really love this uh, necklace this pendant and i highly highly recommend it um it cost me like 700 bucks 700 uh, more or less so it's not cheap but given that you know it's not gonna tarnish you can wear it forever you can pass it on as an heirloom things like that it's it's really worth it um yeah i just wish that uh the that it was much more of a deeper gold but like i said um you can purchase an 18 karat version of this and it'll probably be that deeper gold but i'm sorry if it's not focusing <laughs> but yeah i really really love it even if you're not a harry potter fan you're probably gonna think this looks pretty because it is it's really beautiful um yeah so if you're thinking about purchasing it just think about the chain and what type of chain if that you already have if you're gonna wear it with your own chain and if i'm not sure if it's gonna fit uh that part right here so yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching bye By the way, just in case you're wondering, this is the box that it came in. It's like a carton type of box. And um, this is the chain that it originally came in. It's a silver, sterling silver chain, which it's just a, 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 an additional $20 on top of the $725 or something cost of uh, this um, 
pendant if it came with no chain and this is what it looks like with a silver chain just in case you were wondering because <laughs> I guess I'd wonder that myself like what it looks like with if you're into like mixed metals then I guess that that would do you'd like it it's fine I just I didn't like um, the design of the chain and it's not as sparkly as the one I bought from Catbird which is this one it's very very sparkly every time you move whereas this one's more white I guess you'd say so yeah that's what that chain looks like and uh, it also came in a pouch so it has a pouch so this um, pendant was inside this pouch and it was sitting on top of this and that that's what it looks like great thanks for watching